Hello, show some people with the name. I'm making a video showing you guys our first part of the Lego Mark Marathon. The second, if you don't know what this is, go check out Matt's channel um, on Matt's movies because he did our first ones. So we're going to show our second ones here and he'll tell you about it. Yeah, so the Mock Marathon is basically we like choose a location or something from another franchise and we make projects for it out of Lego. So, you know, uh, so, that's, so that's really awesome. The first one was at my was on my channel, so check it out. But today, you were gonna, I'm going to be showing you a creation from the Ghostbusters, uh, which is the Ghostbusters Other Side from Ghostbusters 2016. And I worked really hard on this project, and I'm really excited to show it, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, here is my Other Side from Ghostbusters 2016. Now, this is not how it actually did look. I kind of inspired it off of the LEGO Dimensions version where we saw like different islands and everything. And I just made it my very kind of own. So I think it turned out great. So here we go. So down here, I have like a little ship for the Ghostbusters to ride in, which is actually all the different Ghostbusters from 2016 and 1984, I believe. Yeah. I think it's 1968. Ugh. And Kevin. Yeah. And, yeah, and no, Kevin. No, it was 1982. No. Well, whatever. Sometime in the 80s. Let's put it that way. But, um, but yeah, it's like a ship that they can just fly around the other side and maybe destroy it and everything. And I've got some really cool stuff like this right here, which is basically just a little ship. It's got like a little canister right there of some green fire coming out of it, or green goop, I guess, whatever you want. Um, and then I've got like some rocks, some rocks there, or just like stuff that looks like rocks at least. Uh, then this little kind of hinge piece that can go like back and forward, as well as this little green thing with a yellow plate and a stud in the center right there, as well as this little um, tube thing. I don't know what it is. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it later. Oh, never mind. There we go. Um, but here I've got some, uh, got some, like, cri I've got a crystal there, some more crystal thingies, um, some more, like, translucent stuff right there, like a, uh, and I've even got, like, a Nexo shield with a couple of cylinders and a, uh, um, like a little circle with a, with a red stud in the center, translucent red, and I've even got a little window right here, and down there i got a little, uh, green translucent plate, so... It's kind of like a little spaceship, and yeah, I've got this little, I'll get the little stick right here, uh, hold on, right there, that, um, that, you know, like, holds this beam in, beam in place, so it's basically like a ship that can, like, fly around and go, like, in case, like, maybe there are enemies there or something, but, yeah. This right here is kind of like a little watchtower with a, um, this weird character. In my other side, I created a whole bunch of just random characters. Uh, to be like maybe ghost characters or something, and this one is really weird. It's got like a skirt, a robin, um, like a, a robin shirt with a little kind of hat and everything. And there I've got a, um, and it's like a little watchtower. Got two bionicle heads with swords attached to them. Little um, like translucent yellow window thing. And up here is the little area where this guy can like watch over the all the other side. So, yeah, so that's that. Um, let's start with this side. Um, this right here is actually a really cool thing. I decided to create like, a whole bunch of really weird like creatures for my other side. This is basically, I basically just took a bionicle body and attached a whole bunch of long legs, five long legs to it since there are five joints. And it's really cool. Like Two of them have uh, yellow feet, one has a, a blue one, one has an orange, and one has a green. And it's really cool. It's like, and they're and they can all like move around. They're all completely posable. And I added a um, little translucent green plate right here with a, a translucent yellow stud there. And I it kind of I have sort of like an insect looking face because I've got like these little uh, uh, like um, handle pieces which are used for like antennas or something just to make it look cooler. And then this is the mouth and the two eyes which are red and the mouth is blue. Uh, transition blue to be specific with a stud in the center, so that's really cool. And uh, that's really it for this weird creature. And it can even like stand up like that, so. Whoops. <laughs> Ugh, never, never mind. No. But I've also got like another creature right here, which is basically it's a three legged creature. Uh, the legs are the feet are basically just hands. And it's got even like an ice cream launcher on its back with a couple of plates right there. And even these hands. One's longer than the other, as you can see. Kind of like in this big, in this kind of like darkish red color. But yeah. And I've got another creature right here, which is, it's got like a Batman armor plate, as you can see right there. And 
It's got like two kind of, I guess like maybe arms, I guess you call it, out of bionicle pieces, and at the end are attached like a head. So it's basically kind of like a double-headed uh, snake sort of creature thing. Like it can, like it can uh, slither around like this, and it's basically kind of like the watcher of this island right here, which we'll get to uh, right now. Um, it's got Slimer right there. It's got another weird creature with a long, like, bazooka or something. A little, uh, a little, like, white and red, um, thing right there. It's even got Mayhem from the Ghostbusters 2016, uh, set. So that's awesome. It's even got some, uh, got some, like, tubing right here with a little canister. Um, didn't really attach a chair. And it's kind of like a jump between here and there. So that's really cool. A little, um, a little kind of like a storage unit for this suit. Or this character, I guess, which is really cool. It's like blue, and you got a little blue faceplate and everything. So, very cool. And, um, yeah, so... So, yeah, and it's got like a little, uh, like seed in place right there. So, that's really cool. And Slimer's attached to this, um, to this, uh, little stick right here. Yeah, and again, Mayhem right there. Not too impressed with the figure, because it doesn't look anything like it does in the movie, but uh, it still looks cool, I guess. But I've got, like, a little thing with, like, wings right here. It's got a little kind of coffin thing right there with, like, a gun attached to it. I've got another random character with a cape, a shield, and a mask and everything. You even got, like, a pink body, as you can see right there, and a uh, Buzz Lightyear leg. Uh, it's got like a little rope thing that's attached to this, attached to the wing, so pretty cool. Um, and then attached to this I've got like a claw, and here I've got like another kind of like fire blaster or something. And then I've got this weird kind of wizard-like character with Red Hood's face and even like Kai's body and everything. Very reddish. And uh, yeah, I've got these uh, blue things attached to the um, little handles on the door, I guess, of the coffin. So once again, another weird creation with like a little front of a ship and it's attached to each other with like wheels, a launcher right there, and these little like, it looks kind of like a throne sort of thing right there, and uh, just a weird creation and even this little hinge right there. So then we get to this island which is, has like a uh, kind of like defense system right here which can like fire uh, laser rockets and stuff, a little boost, or, um, I've got even uh, a headless guy right there holding a blaster, which I inspired off of the Phantom Zone projector from the Lego Batman movie. Another weird character with a, uh, like a two-headed snake guy from Ninjago, as well as, he's holding like a, he's holding like a, uh, I forgot what they're called. Trident. That, a trident, thank you. And a little, uh, snake staff right there. A little green do dome, transition dome. A little, uh, ener energy tower right here with, like, red, it's made out of, like, red, green, yellow, Blue is blue. Oh, hold on. Blue, as you can see right there, and uh, yeah, it's even got like a wheel, a wheel right here which can turn, and it's all powered by this thing, which is really cool. So, and then I've got another weird guy. He's like two-headed with a like an axe and everything. Here I've got. Uh, hold on, let me just turn this. Here I've got like a little crane arm thing and a little, and it's attached to like this little boat thing that I guess people could sit in and drive it, and it's attached to this little hinge that has like a bang. Some more right there, uh, stud, and then, and then like a little twisty thing, which I guess you can like operate with the, yeah, so that's really cool. Then I've got like another weird ship, which is basically, uh, it's got this weird, this really cool pattern on it, a, um, little R2 kind of head thing, well, not really, but, got like, I've got these two orange spikes right here on either side. And I've, inside I've got two cylinders, one is actually red and one is green, and uh, attached to them are flat studs, so transition. Uh, I've got another weird creature, which is just um, literally just like Green Lantern's head attached to this, um, and he's using like these four, le four legs to walk around. And even has this weird uh, hinge attached to it, these little boosters on the back so he can fly like this, and just fly away and everything, so pretty cool. And I've got this not another island with a little chest, as you can see right there. Uh, there's a little, a little guardian up there. A little, uh, hold on. Let's get it out for you. Uh, there we go. A little weird kind of droid thing that just runs around there. Uh, a little, a little bridge right here, which leads to this part of the island with a weird kind of Batman-ish looking figure with a really cool shield and a spike. 
So, pretty cool. A little kind of canister right here with a little uh, piece right here and a 1x4 flat tire right there. So, pretty cool. A bass signal with a little starting thingy bobber right there. I don't know what it's called, but. Um, yeah. Oh, and by the way, this was actually attached to there. So, there you can see it's like a little uh, moving thing, like a blaster. And attached to this is actually, well, it's not really attached to it, but it's like a little canister of energy. It's made out of, it's green, kind of has things from like Lego movie sets, as well as this little kind of bendy thing out of yellow, black, and white, as well as this little light right here, and this little kind of fire blaster, I guess, in case like a, in case like maybe there's enemies coming, it can fire energy, like green energy. And even like this little canister that kind of gives it its power, like fills it up with energy and everything. So, uh, then we get to the final two islands. Uh, this is actually like a little boat which is attached to this island. I'll just stay puff right there. And it's got like two cannons, steering wheel, energy booster right there. So, then we get to this island which has two buckets on the top, a cape, a little front of a train right there, which is the front, even a little crane arm for defense, so it can like move around and like punch and blast enemies, as you can see right there. So pretty cool. Inside, we've got like a little, t we got a little TV, as you can see right there. Little kind of control panel with a guy with a gun and a ninja mask. A little green dome in there, with kind of like holograms and stuff. And even this, even like this dude with a sword and some armor and everything. And he's kind of a guy who works there. He's even a pistol right there, some energy, a little, uh, a little tower, right there, or a little kind of like maybe antenna or something. And then there's the a little like window. Now we're gonna get to the final island, and that is this one. Now this is the i the big one of, like the biggest island. It's got a little um, the hologram projector thing right there, table with some. We got a compass and everything there. A little rocker dude. Stay puff as I mentioned before. And the boat right there. A little kind of, I guess, tower of water or something. Uh, a little kind of energy thing with a white, with like white, trench red, and some clear studs attached to it. Fire. A uh, little small thing right there. A little spike. So, pretty cool. And then we've got an iron weasel thing. This was not actually from a set. This is something that the boys made, so pretty cool. Oh, wait. I think I placed it upside down. But I've got a little gun up there, a little energy kind of thing right there, a little, um, a little kind of like wall, I guess. A blast, a blast right there. Then we got, um, a rocker there. There's a really cool character right here with a sword. Love that character. Um, if you want, you can see him a little more. He's got like nexal armor, a fire leg, a sword, and like a little thing on the back of his nexal armor and everything. So pretty cool. Um, whoops. Then we got a little. He's attached to a Star Wars piece right here. Another guy, which is like with Buzz Lightyear's armor and everything. Even a uh, PKE meter or that, that thing I built out of the design of the PKE meter from Ghostbusters as well. So pretty cool. Got some armored. Uh, leggings right there. So, very cool. And, now we get to, uh, Rowan himself. Now, Rowan is the main bad guy of, uh, Ghostbusters 2016. And I made him sort of like an emperor form with, like, a really cool staff. An awesome throne with, with like, some music speakers right there. An awesome helmet, and he has, like, red eyes. He has red eyes, if you can see right there. A really cool suit. He's got your hands, and the top of his staff has, like, a crystal, which can fire energy and everything. And here's his throne, beige piece, again, speakers right there, so even some, um, you can see right there, it's got even a little, uh, slope and gridded, so that's awesome. So, with that in mind, there you have it, that is my complete other side from the, um, from the Ghostbusters 2016. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then leave a like, that would be appreciated, and, uh, so, let me know, and, uh, yeah, yes. so... That's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys like this, this was um the Mark Marathon Part One by Last Movies. Oh, my style, at least thumbs up with that style. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so that was Part One. You guys will be able to see Part Two and Three later. We're not gonna tell you what that is. You have to watch the videos for that. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And see you guys later on Lego Channel 62.